Hi everyone, this is Liz from Photify. Today I'm going to give you a general overview of our app, basically explaining some of the core features. So let's get started. Once you've launched the app, you land on what we call the home screen. This page allows you to one, capture a photo, two, choose a photo, three, view your Photify stream, and four, view the menu settings. Let's create something. Start by choosing a photo. If you have an iPhone, choose a photo from your camera roll or pick one from your photo gallery on Android. Do you have photos elsewhere? Grab photos from your favorite social networks or cloud-based storage systems such as Facebook, Instagram, Google+, Flickr, Dropbox, and Google Drive. We will be adding Tumblr and other sources soon. And for you Android users, we are working on adding these options shortly. Awesome. Let's select a photo. Selecting a photo in this view allows you to preview a larger photo, giving you more control in choosing the correct photo the first time. Here's a pro tip. Swipe left and right on the preview photo to move to the next or previous photo in your camera roll or photo gallery. Once you've chosen the photo you like, tap the green button at the bottom to move on to the next step. Selecting an element. Welcome to the carousel. This allows you to see all of our content in one place, design, stickers, and frames. Currently, we have over 20,000 professionally designed graphics created by our in-house design team and several licensed partners. Just a little side note, I personally helped create some of the awesome content in our app you're looking at. Scroll up and down in this area to see more elements. Scroll up and down in this area to see more categories. Pressing on a category with an arrow opens up subcategories. Pressing a category or subcategory changes the view and shows graphics specifically for that category. An example would be pressing on the friends category would only show friends type content. Pressing on this icon allows you to change the carousel. There are three different types of carousels, one for design, one for stickers, and one for frames. Feel free to change your carousel at any time. If you get tired of browsing through our catalog, don't worry. Use our simple search tool to find exactly what you want. Let's enter the keyword heart. Great. Because I use the search tool, it shows me everything related to heart. So that's everything in design, stickers, and frames. Press the close button on the top right corner to go back to the previous page. Skip. Because we have other features besides these awesome elements, you don't always have to choose an element to move to the next step. Simply press on the skip button. Here's another little gem. Change the amount of elements you can view by using the pinch in and pinch out features. Check it out. I think this is pretty nifty. Enhancing your photo. Now that you added an element, let's enhance your photo even more. Cropping your photo. Change your square crop to landscape or portrait view. Android users, choose the no crop option to use the exact dimensions of your photo. Rotate your photo 90 degrees using the rotate icon or use the two finger gesture to rotate your photo manually. You can also zoom in and out of your photo by using the pinch in and pinch out gestures. Effects. Choose any filter to apply these on your photo. Pressing the original thumbnail will remove any effect from your photo. Designs. Since we've already added a design element, we won't go over that step, but you can add another design element by pressing on the plus icon. So let's go over the other stuff. Here you can one, change color,
to resize. Three, move. Or four, rotate. For you advanced users, use the edit option to see other features in this section. Stickers. Stickers are mainly icon type graphics. They range from hearts, animals, shapes, numbers, and flourishes. So let's add one. Great. Now that we've added a sticker, you can use the same functions as we did for designs. Stickers also has an option that allows you to flip them horizontally or vertically. This is located in the edit options area. Text. The freeform text feature allows you to personalize even more, putting a true mark on your photo. You can choose from various font styles. Once you find the font you like, move, scale, and rotate so it looks good on your photo. Again, press on the Edit Options icon to see more text editing functions. Frames. These elements require minimal editing and arranging. It's really easy. Just find the frame you like and add it to your photo. Note, some frames allow you to move them horizontally or vertically. You can also change the color of these frames. So let's add one. Cool, this looks amazing. Let's preview this photo. Press the preview button to see what your final photo will look like. You can cancel to go back to editing or hit the save and share button and move on to the final step. Since I love the way this looks, let's press on the save and share button. Pressing on this button actually saves your photo and a Photofy album on your device. So let's share this. You can share your Photofy photo to various social media platforms. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, Google+, etc. Use the text or email icon to share this photo to your family and friends. All right, that concludes our simple overview tutorial. Be sure to check back for more videos to learn more about Photofy. Until then, please visit our website at photofy.com.